Once I show you how I made this build, you just cannot make this build in this builder and not go through with it. The build is that overpowered, that crazy to use. It's gonna be definitely a fun build. You're gonna see a lot of people using these type builds on NBA 2K25. Yes, man, it really is me. Me is AKA the instant burner, man. And YouTube, these 610 builds are glitchy and overpowered in NBA 2K25. I know everybody always says that, but let, let me let you guys know. I usually don't make tall, I make tall builds, but not 16 and up. And I'm letting you guys know this year, I will be making a KD build because you just cannot, once I show you how I made this build, you just cannot make this build in this builder and not go through with it. The build is that overpowered and that crazy to use. It's gonna be definitely a fun build. You're gonna see a lot of people using these type builds on NBA 2K25. And I never thought we would be back to these types of days. But I'm gonna go ahead guys and show you guys the kind of build that I cooked up. Um, before we get started, it'd be greatly appreciate if you guys can hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to at least 200 likes on the video if you want more build videos. And subscribe if you're new because I'm gonna be keeping you guys up to date on NBA 2K25 news gameplay especially jump shot so if you somebody struggle with the jump shot you definitely want to subscribe but shout out to 2k man we do have something new this year we got the pro tuned builds built by pros choose a build handcraft for your play preferred play style which is a w but today we're going to be going with the nba builds uh that you've seen in nba 2k24 also and we're going to be using um a kd template but like i said i'm not gonna make it the KD exact build. I'm gonna tell you guys why in a second. Um, but this is the build if you wanna make it exactly like the KD build, like KD. Um, the reason I wouldn't do that because I'm a part player. There's a couple things that need to be suited for you being a part player. For one, one of the biggest things I feel like is something like rebounding. Your rebounding being a 60, I feel like on a park or in a rec, it's just not gonna cut it you being at the four or you being at the three on threes. You're just not gonna be able to battle with some of these, these big men on the park and stuff like that. So I wanna change a couple things around just to make it more suited for, you know what I'm saying, online gameplay, if that makes sense. Uh, first thing what we did, we first around, we, we messed around and took down the close shot a little bit. Uh, we took the close shot down to 83 right here. Uh, what we went with, we went with a driving layup. We took this down too, especially for my play style. I wanna tell you guys that also. If it's something that you wouldn't change, this is just a template how I would do it. You know what I'm saying? If you like to do, you know, you like to do, you know, more layups. You know, you can put your layup up. You like to do more dunking. You want to con, you do get contact dunks on this build, which is crazy. But if you want all the contact dunks, you can just switch around stuff. This is just a template. So me personally, bro, I'm more of a get on the rim dunk type of person. I will lay the ball up, but you're still gonna be able to get the cheesy layups. Um, so I, what I would do right here, I would put this down to 86. You know what I'm saying? Just secondary finishing. Um, driving dunk. We're not gonna touch that at all, which like I said, you're gonna be getting contact dunks on the build. Another thing with the standing dunk, I wouldn't put the standing dunk this high because if you guys know, if you're 6'5 and up, if you're under the rim and nobody's under the rim, you're gonna dunk the ball anyway. You're gonna dunk it anyway, you know what I'm saying? You being on a tall build. So I feel like I would wanna save points on my standing dunk. So what I would put the standing dunk on, I'll put the standing dunk on 57. Like I said, you're still gonna stand dunk if you're under there. You don't have to worry about that. If you don't believe me, you can go into the, the freestyle and, and get under the rim and, and press and press up on the stick or square and, and, and see if you're still gonna dunk. You are, but you don't gotta take my word for it. Uh, post control. Another thing, I wanted to mess with this post control, but I didn't, man, because you get it on you get post fade phenom on Hall of Fame, and if you take it down one, you don't get it on Hall of Fame. And I feel like even though the game is early, I feel like in this game, what 2K is striving us to be, they, they want us to play more sim ball. When it's playing more sim ball, they want to try to take out the speed boost and left to right. And if they take out the speed boost and left and right what, what a lot of people are going to be doing in a month or two you're going to be doing a lot of hopping you're going to be doing a lot of step back in shooting and stuff like that a lot of post phase and all that type of stuff and you want to be ahead of the curve and i felt like that's where the game is going so post control i did not touch at all so we left that where it is um with the mid range um we took that up one um, you don't gotta take it up one. You can take it. You can take it back down if you like. I don't know why, but I just took it up one just to get that set shot specialist. You know, on um, oh, on Hall of Fame. Um, 
three pointer. We took that down one just because it, it doesn't mess with anything. You can you can actually take it down even more if you guys wanted to. Um, it's just not it's not gonna mess with anything as long as you got your limit list. So you can put it at 83 if you guys want to. But I just wanted to be sure because you know with the thresholds with 2K, it's always zeros and fives if y'all are new to 2K. So at a at a 80, 85, 90, 95, those thresholds are usually unlocked, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to greening or jewel animations and stuff like that. So I just wanted to keep it right there. So we kept it at 85. Me, I'm a park player, y'all already know this. So I did not, I actually took this down. You know, if you're if you are a rec player or something like that, you definitely want to put this right back up. So we, we put that right there. Past accuracy, what we went with on this, bro, well, for, I put mine down to a 70, 70, 75, and you, 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 get, you get what I'm saying on the KD build. Um, and like I said, you're going to be playing big man. So are you the primary passer? You're probably getting that ball and you're trying to go get a bucket. You feel me on the center, trying to take advantage of a mismatch. So that's why I went with a 70 right there. We didn't mess with the ball handling or the speed with ball. Um, we did mess with the perimeter defense a little bit. Um, and the reason we wanted to do that, um, because like I said, I play part. So with me playing part, um, you're gonna have to guard just a little bit in space, man. So I wanted to be able to at least hold my own just in case I'm switched out on a guard or something like that. So I put that right there. Still, wasn't able to touch the steel on this build, but um, the block we did do. Because like I said also, you're probably gonna be playing the three on the part. If you playing a three, you got to be able to, you know what I'm saying, protect the rim some. You know, with that being, with your block being so low, you're not going to get any animations. You're not going to take anybody out of any animations. You know what I'm saying? Because you literally didn't have anything. You didn't have no paint patroller. You didn't have no pogo stick. Your high flyer denier was on what? Bronze. Um, but what we did, what I did on the build, I put this up to 85 that 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 should at least let you take some of these guys out their animations hold your own against the bigs and all that so we went with that um and also what we did like i said the defensive rebound earlier you got to be able to rebound if you're going to be playing the three on the park so what i did i put that up put that up to an 80 so you should be able to at least handle your own with your vertical being pretty solid at a 75 and your defensive rebounding being at the 80 so really with this build right here, you can really play like the old, I'm, I know I'm old school, with the old 2K16. You know, in 2K16, you used to be able to run with three six sevens, and you and your friends can have a lot of fun. Y'all can have a lot of fun, and y'all can handle your own and go on big streaks. With this build right here, you'll be able to have pretty much three ISO, if you wanted to. You can have three ISO builds, and y'all will be able to handle your own, have fun with your friends, you know what I'm saying? And not have to do the traditional, I gotta have a lockdown, I gotta have a guard, I gotta have a big man that can't dribble. That alleviates all that if you make this build right here. You're going to be having fun with this KD build or the, or the version that I made right here. Um, I think that's all I did to the build. That's Oh, uh, no, we did. We did do a little bit of something. We put the strength up just a little bit. Put the strength up just a little bit, man, so you can have your post lockdown on bronze just in case you have somebody trying to post you down you'll be able to handle your own right there you got strong handles which reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling so you're going to be able to go crazy with that uh and you got post powerhouse strings the ability to, at backing down defenders and moving them with drop steps so you get that mismatch you know so you can go crazy in that post with this build you got physical finisher also on silver you got your box out beast so, so like i said but this build right here is going to be very very versatile and very very fun um, then I think I only got like one more one more attribute and I just put it right there. So you have a 72 if you want to play rec you have a 72 pretty solid uh, right there. Um, also I'm going to show you guys the animations on the build just in case um, you're thinking about making a build. <clears throat> and you're thinking, ah, do I want to make the bill? I'm gonna show you guys the dunks and the drill moves, all that that you get on the bill, um, also, which is which is pretty crazy, also. Um, but let's go ahead and test out the bill. Compared to a 92, let me show y'all the jump shot creator first. Um, and when you go to the jump shot creator, you get a lot of bases. You get a lot. These are all the bases that you can get on the bill. And also, guys, if you're not subscribed, you're going to want to subscribe. Because like I said, I will be making this bill. I will be making this bill sooner or later, bro. And I'm definitely going to be making jump shots 
for this build. So you're not gonna have to worry about, oh, he's 16, I, can, I can't find no base. I can't find I can't find no releases. Look, bro, I'm gonna have you guys covered, but you just wanna go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But you do get a lot of, you do get a lot of stuff. These are X'd out at the bottom right here. But at the top ones, um, you definitely get those. So you're definitely gonna be straight with that. Uh, with the releases, you know, tall builds get all the best releases on the game. We already know that at this point. You're gonna get a, a prefler of releases too, as you see right here. You're gonna, you're gonna have enough to really get you started. I'm not even gonna go down through all of them. But you're gonna have that. When it comes to dump packages, just look at all the dump packages you got. You get damn near almost everything, bro. You're gonna be able to be very, get on that rim and you get the contact dunkies right here off the two. So you're gonna be able to get contact dunks and like I said, you get a lot of you get a lot of dunks. That's a two footed, that's the one footed. One of my favorite ones, you get the NBA dunks. One of my favorite ones to get is the LeBron James. The LeBron James, you're definitely gonna get the LeBron James and get up through there. So this build is definitely gonna be fun to play with this year, bro. I'm very excited for me to make this build eventually, man once i get some more once i get my vc and all that and make all my initial bills and that type of things but that is it for today guys you guys let me know what do you think about this build is the build a w or a l what would you change again don't forget to like up the video to see if we can get to at least 200 likes on the video and also don't forget to subscribe and y'all already know who it is burn up